What it do? Let's get it, folks. Number seven, Southern Utah on a nine-game winning streak, traveling to take on the 18th-ranked UC Davis Aggies, who are on a five-game winning streak. This is the game of the week, and it looks to be very exciting. I'm excited for it. Two of the worst passing offenses in the country, but look at those ground attacks and the defenses. Number four defense in the country for the Thunderbirds, number two in the nation for the UC Davis Aggies, top 10 in each category. And the only thing that Southern Utah does not do that fantastic is the rush defense, which is uh, number 35 in the country. But still, they allow less than 100 yards rushing per game. So, that outstanding and they have the number two rushing attack on offense 301 yards per game 400 total offensive yards per game and this should be a fantastic game but let me go ahead and get right into this hold on one second we just went over all the stats and everything yeah let's just get into it folks let's do it Owen Black in the chat Bryson Shields Regear Productions and Marvin Joseph Sir Lucky Seven. All right, folks. Let me go ahead and get these uh, uniforms all squared away. Let's go with the red on red. Yeah. Noah's not here in the chat, so we're gonna go with that one. <laughs> And they run the Virginia Tech playbook. All right, folks. Number seven at number 18. Homecoming for the 9-2 UC Davis Aggies. Final home or final regular season game of the year for UC Davis. Let's get it, folks. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I've been waiting for this game for the past few days. I just, I want it to happen so badly. I have no idea who's going to win the Pac-10 after this game. I mean, I just have no idea. Unless the Thunderbirds win it. If Southern Utah wins it, they secure the Pac-10. And I'm pretty sure Noah would want to uh, kick the ball off here for the Aggies. Let me go ahead and switch that camera. Whew. Yeah, Gregory's out for the season. He was suspended for academic reasons. All right, that's the only play I'm doing right there. I'm doing the kickoff. And now the controllers are for the computer. That's it. Let's get it, folks. Oh, baby. Regear Productions up in the chat. Crowd going crazy here tonight already. Southern Utah on offense first. Brandon Lee in motion to the right side. Nicholas Hall under under center at quarterback. And they're going to try this wide back sweep. And Cameron Matthews with a nice carry. They tried this a lot in their last matchup against Cal Poly. And they only got one of them to work. So they're one for one here today. On the wide back sweeps. The rest of the offense, there's Nicholas Hall at quarterback. Cameron Matthews, number seven. We just saw him carry the rock. Brandon Lee at fullback, right behind Hall. And they'll hand it off to the fullback, and he is dropped at the line of scrimmage. Jaquan Freeman at receiver. Prince McCutcheon, the other receiver. And at guard, number 72, Brandon Red. Red has not allowed a sack this whole season. 38 pancakes, no sacks allowed. He is the right guard. And they're going to go with the wide back sweep again. And did he get it? No, he did not. Huge stop here for number 55, Zachary Hyde. And they might get him for taunting here. They do. That is a huge mistake on the Aggies. So there's a free first down for the Thunderbirds. My goodness. That is unbelievable. What a mistake by the sophomore linebacker. 
The Aggies defense is Caleb Chubb at defensive tackle, number 95. At defensive end, we have Andrew Jackson and Demarcus Webb. Let's see who else we got. We got Mason Stonewall as well at defensive end. And here is a handoff to Brandon Lee, the fullback, and he's going to pick up six or seven yards. We've got Elijah Christian, Zeus Williams, and Zachary Hyde filling the linebacker positions. And at corner, the defensive captain, Zach Pryor, and R.J. Simons on the other side. And here is Lee again. Brandon Lee in the open field, breaking tackles up to the 32-yard line. My goodness. He's got 20 yards already. And to finish off the secondary for the Aggies is Trey Henry the third, the sophomore, and Everett Garrison. So it should be Aggies ball right now, but instead of a 15-yard taunting penalty, and Southern Utah is just driving down the field, and they're going to go option here. Nicholas Hall, he's got the speed. Nicholas Hall is taken down at the one-yard line by R.J. Simons. He just exploded up the middle of the field. What a block downfield by Jaquan Freeman, number two as well. My goodness gracious. First and goal from the one-yard line. The undefeated Thunderbirds looking to spoil the homecoming here for the Aggies tonight. And they will come out in the goal line set. Trying to audible. Everybody's having a hard time hearing with that stadium pulse. And Brandon Lee is going to be taken down short. What a hit. And let's see who it was. That is a non-subscriber player, I believe. So hard to see with all those bodies. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. Chaos Driven in the chat. How you doing? Seven plays, 77-yard drive. Southern Utah is 10th in the nation in red zone scoring at 90%. This drive is two and a half minutes off the clock. And Brandon Lee punches it in for the touchdown. That is his 12th touchdown this season and 25th rushing of his career. And Southern Utah just dominated that drive after that penalty. Goodness gracious. Webb on for the extra point for the Thunderbirds. And the kick is up and good. It's 7-0 in front of a almost sellout crowd here in Davis, California. Back deep to return for the Aggies is Zach Pryor and Wyatt Geddes. Both of them have a kick return for a touchdown apiece this season. Geddes also has a punt return for a score as well on the season. Five rushing touchdowns and a receiving touchdown to go along with it. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going to be to uh, Wyatt Geddes. Or no, that's Zach Pryor. Excuse me. Up to the 15-yard line. Not a great return. And on offense for the UC Davis Aggies, under center is Owen Black. Black with 1,781 rushing yards in his career, 32 touchdowns on the ground. So watch out for him to run it. And they're going to throw it here right side. Deflected away, almost picked off. A little trick play to start things off. My goodness. Backup quarterback, three-star freshman, Ashley Jackson. She, <clears throat> she has seen some playing time this season. There is Owen Black, right side, dropped for a loss. And I dropped my notebook, give me one second. <laughs> Third down and 12 upcoming now. The rest of the offense for the Aggies is Tyreek Taylor at halfback, Lito Lozano at halfback, and Wyatt Geddes at receiver, Sam Gatlin and Jaquan Brown. Big third down and 12 here for UC Davis. Black is going to be sacked. Oh my goodness. Wow. Just blew right past the left tackle, freshman Cole Hewitt. And that was a non-subscriber defensive end just blowing that play up. It's fourth and 20. 
I didn't even get a chance to <laughs> go over the Thunderbirds defense. <coughs> Back to return, Hagen. And gets it up to midfield. And Southern Utah in great field position to start their second drive. Shotgun set for Nicholas Hall. Matthews gets the direct snap, and he's going to lose a few yards. Elijah Christian on the tackle for a loss. That is his seventh tackle for a loss this season. And 17th for his career. Brings up second down and 12 now. UC Davis is the only team to field a full defense, and they are all subscriber players. Hall dropping back to throw it, rolling out right side, throws over the middle, wide open is Jaquan Freeman for the first down, but there is a flag, and that play is going to come back, holding on Brandon Red. My goodness. Head coach Noah Regeer, a little upset on the sideline after that call. Red really not known for making too many mistakes. He's only allowed one sack in his entire career. And that might be his second holding penalty of all time. Second down and 22 now. Hall trying to hot route a receiver. And the stadium is making it really hard to hear. Hall to throw it. Right side. And it's almost intercepted by Everett Garrison. The strong safety. That would have been his third of the season. Southern Utah, number one in third down conversion percentage this season. 62% of the time they convert. But this is a tall task right here. Third and 22. Hall under center. He will try to throw it. Hall, wide open on the sideline. And that is going to be a first down for Foster. How do you let the number two halfback get wide open? And that was definitely zone coverage. Great route by the halfback, Foster. My goodness. What a conversion. <laughs> and that is why they were number one in the country on third down percentage. Wow. Hall on the option. Look out. Nicholas Hall is gone. Touchdown, Southern Utah. Hall with his ninth touchdown run of the season just exploded past Andrew Jackson and there was not a defensive back in sight wow so that huge third down and 22 conversion leads to a huge touchdown run from the true freshman quarterback that has just taken over this team Webb on for the extra point it's up and good and it is 14 to nothing on homecoming night against the UC Davis Aggies. Wow. <laughs> I was just talking about how the Aggies are the only team to have 11 subscriber players on defense. And Nicholas Hall says, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to score anyway. This game is <laughs> already pretty exciting. Looks like a player got a head start on the kickoff right there. But here is Zach Pryor up past the 20 to about the 22-yard line. And we will see the Aggies offense take the field again. And before we don't have enough time, let's take a look at the Southern Utah Thunderbirds defense. It is led by middle linebacker Logan Tyler, the sophomore. And at defensive tackle is Adam Joseph. Defensive end Jericho Stevens. Here's a pass from Black deflected away. And that was Emmanuel Wise, the three-star freshman free safety. We've also got C.J. Moreland at corner. He's got over 200 interception return yards this season with two touchdowns. And at strong safety is Bryce King, of course. First-year head coach Noah Regeer. And second down and 10 here. Tyreek Taylor in the backfield. Black to throw right side. Another deflection. My goodness, that was almost picked off. Man. That's going to bring up third down and ten. This is not ideal for the Aggies, who are really known for pounding the rock. 
And they haven't got their running backs involved at all so far in this game. Black to throw. Black pressured, hit as he throws, and he finds the offensive captain, Sam Gatlin. But did he get enough? He did not. Fourth down and one. Upcoming for UC Davis, C.J. Moreland made the stop. And I doubt they're going to go for it here on their own 31-yard line. And it does look like they will, in fact, punt it away with Tyrell Golden. And that punt was not very good. That goes out of bounds around midfield. So another mistake here for the Aggies in the first quarter. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. Subscribe if you are new. Join our Discord community today to get yourself a player in this dynasty. Ball under center. And they will hand it off to Brandon Lee, who escapes to the outside. Picks up five yards. Andrew Jackson brought him down at the end of that run. Brings up second down and five. Aggies really have to key in on this ground attack. And here is the option again. Nicholas Hall, he is stopped again. This is Andrew Jackson, and there's a clipping penalty. Silver Mania in the chat. Good old Zach Pryor. Glad to see you, buddy. Southern Utah is damn good. Oh, absolutely. That's why they're 9-0 on the season, man. Second down and 19 now after the clipping call. And Hall's going to look to throw it. Hall, wide open, but overthrows his target. My goodness. Not too many overthrows this season from the freshman. He's usually pretty on point. And with that incompletion, it's going to be third down and 19 now from their own 40-yard line. They converted a third and 22 last drive. Can they do it again? Hall throws it. No, he's hit as he throws. That is incomplete. And that was the sophomore defensive end, Demarcus Webb with the hit on the quarterback. As I crush my water bottle. Totally on accident. Final play of the first quarter is going to be a punt from Southern Utah. And back deep to return is Wyatt Geddes, the three-star halfback. And nice return there, up close to the 30-yard line. And it's 14-0 as we head into the second. Aggies on offense to start it. See what Owen Black can do here in the second quarter. Just hit that reset button and just try to get something going here for your offense. And they will try to get the ground game working. Now Lito Lozano, and he is dragged down by the face mask. That was Bryce King on the stop. Lozano, 725 rushing yards coming into this ball game. And that was a huge penalty right there. Brings it all the way into Thunderbirds territory after the 15 yards. First down and 10, Black under center. Two tight ends set here for the Aggies. And they will hand it off to Tyreek Taylor who cuts it back to the left side. And he is dragged down at the 22 yard line by Bryce King. That was a 24 yard scamper for the big fella. What a great cutback that was. Just great vision by the sophomore halfback. And the Aggies are in business, folks, at the 22-yard line of Southern Utah. I formation set now for the Aggies. Black will hand it off again to Lozano. He'll pick up two or three yards up the gut. If you thought the Aggies were going to lay down and just take the L, you are mistaken. They have a lot of fight in them. Shotgun set here for Owen Black. Tyreek Taylor to his left. And he'll try to throw it. Black 
hit as he throws, but he finds his man, and that's Lito Lozano for the touchdown. Lozano, his first touchdown catch of the season. Goodness gracious. Huge drive, a statement drive for the Aggies. Showing that they will not give up. It's homecoming. They want to get a dub for all their seniors. It's also their final regular season game as well. So we will not see the Aggies again until bowl season. Extra point is up and good from Tyrell Golden. That was Owen Black's 14th touchdown pass this year and 30th for his career. Man, what a drive, my goodness. Helped a little bit by the clipping call, or face mask call, excuse me. Joshua Williams in the chat. Good old Zeus Williams. Who leads the team in tackles with 49 coming into this game. And here on the return is going to be Foster from his own goal line. And Foster up to the 19-yard line. And we will see this offense take the field again with Nicholas Hall. And we are up to 13 viewers on the stream now. I appreciate everybody stopping by. Brandon Lee behind Nicholas Hall. And they're going to go play action. But Hall is sacked instantly by Andrew Jackson. His first of the ball game and his 11th this season. He now has 22 for his career. And that was just way too easy. Brings up second down and 13 now against the vaunted Aggies defense. is going to go option. He's got some speed. Nice pitch out to Matthews, and he'll get it up to the 26-yard line. Man, that was a great pitch by the freshman. It was a 10-yard carry. Brings up uh, third down and three now. Aggies are dominating the live chat for sure. Absolutely. I knew you guys would show up. I knew you would. Third down and three, big play here. And they're gonna go with the wide back sweep and Foster is stopped. And it's Andrew Jackson again. The guy is a menace. I believe that is another tackle for a loss for him. And a huge stop for the Aggies defense. A three and out. Jackson with 20 tackles for a loss on the season now. And here is Wyatt Geddes on the punt return, and he is dropped around the 35-yard line. Aggies looking to tie it up now with three and a half minutes left here in the first half. High formation set for Owen Black. And they'll toss it out. Lito Lozano, he's dropped, but there's a flag for a face mask. And that was Jericho Stevens, number 78. And that brings up first down and five now. Shotgun set for Owen Black, one tight end to the right. And they will go draw play to Tyree Taylor. He runs a couple guys over, but he is stuffed. By Jericho Stevens, his third tackle today. He also had that sack earlier. Second down and five now. Shotgun set again for Black. Play action. Looking to throw deep left side, and it's deflected away at the last second by C.J. Moreland, who has had just a fantastic season after being the meme of the channel <laughs> in his freshman year. Pretty much allowing at least one touchdown per game on that left side. Third down and five, Logan Tyler is on fire. Play action again, black, wide open, left side is the fullback, but he does not pick it up. 
Brings up fourth down and one. Moreland on the tackle again. And you got to think they're going to punt it here, and they will with Tyrell Golden. Back to return is Hagen, I believe. And he's going to fair catch this at his own 17-yard line. What do you guys like better, the NFL playoffs or this? Tell me. Please don't hurt my feelings. I love you. <laughs> First down and 10 for the Thunderbirds. They look to get in the end zone again. Matthews in motion on the right side. Hall is going to hand it off to Foster, and he's going to pick up maybe two yards on the play. Zachary Hyde on the stop. He now has 40 tackles this season. Two minutes left here in the half. Southern Utah calls their first time out of the game. It's now second and seven. Watch for the wide back sweep out of this formation. All under center, and they're going to go option instead, and he picks up a couple more yards. And that was R.J. Simons on the tackle. I said don't hurt my feelings, Zach. You're so hurtful. <laughs> Third down and five for the Thunderbirds. And they're going to send Lee in motion to the left side. Hall hands it off to Matthews, and he cannot get through the line. That was, uh, who was that? That was Zeus Williams on the tackle. He's got 50 for the year now. Fourth down and four. Aggies, two timeouts left. So they'll have a little bit of time to work with here to possibly get some more points on the board before the half is over. Here's Wyatt Geddes on the nice return up into Thunderbirds territory. It's a great return. He does have a punt return for a touchdown this season, so that would have been nice to see him get another one right there. <laughs> I did say be honest. You were all right. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. First down at 10 for the Aggies. Black under center. They're going to hand it off to Tyreek Taylor. Oh, and he should not have juked. Nice tackle by Adam Joseph, the big defensive tackle. Taylor had so much space right there and a couple blockers in front of him, and he just juked for some reason. Brings up second down and seven. Black on the option. Pitches it out late to Tyreek Taylor. Breaks a tackle, and he's got the first down. Jericho Stevens makes the stop on the sideline. Fifty-six seconds left here in the first half. Two tight ends set for Black. Wyatt Geddes behind him. And they're going to go play action. Black has a man wide open over the middle. Throws it deep instead. Deflected away by Bryce King. And that was intended for Jaquan Brown. Half of his catches this season are touchdowns. 14 receptions. 369 yards. Seven scores. That brings up second down at 10. And Geddes is still in there at halfback. They go with play action again. It's the same play. Wide open right side is the tight end. And he's going to fall forward getting the first down. Aggies move the chains. And they are going to go no huddle here. Black play action again. And he's going to throw it over the middle. Deflected and almost caught by Sam Gatlin. And they are going to have a five-yard penalty here on Bryce King who could not get back on the other side of the line. First down and five for UC Davis as they look to stop the monster that is Southern Utah this season. Black to 
to throw. Right side, and that's caught by Jaquan Brown at the six yard line. Oh my goodness. I thought that was gonna be picked off. Man, oh man. They're gonna go no huddle here, and they're gonna hand it off to Tyreek Taylor. He's brought down by the face mask again. Logan Tyler with the personal foul. That'll make it first and goal from the two yard line, Aggies. Very close to tying this ball game up. My goodness. That first quarter was completely dominated by Southern Utah. This second quarter has been dominated by the Aggies. And Black looking to throw. He's going to be sacked, though. Oh, my goodness. It's CJ Moreland. <laughs> the season one meme. That's his first sack <laughs> of the season. Black on the option. Pitches it out. Tyreek Taylor is in for the touchdown. 12-yard run with two seconds left. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're gonna tie this thing up, heading into the half, and they get the ball to start the third quarter. That was a huge touchdown drive by the Aggies, set up by a Wyatt Gettys part return to midfield. Wow. And it is tied up 14 all here in Davis, California. What a game this is. <laughs> what a game. Golden on for the kickoff. I believe Hagen has a kick return for a touchdown this season, at least one. Again, I, I don't track the stats of the non-subscriber players, so forgive me. That'd just be way too much work. And they will kick it deep, five yards deep in the end zone. And Hagen going to kneel it down. So we'll see one more play here before the half. Just going to expect a run. Wide back sweep, anybody? They tried it. <laughs> that was shut down by the big defensive tackle, Caleb Chubb. And it's the half, 14 all, folks. Aggies get the ball to start the third quarter. What a game it has been so far. 14 points in the first for the Thunderbirds and 14 in the second for UC Davis to close the gap. Will it continue to be back and forth or will one team dominate? Find out on the next episode of FCS Dynasty. Pryor and Geddes back to return the kickoff. And this is going to be the prior at his own goal line. And up the right side. Dropped at about the 20-yard line. Owen Black in the offense. About to take the field again here. And try to take this lead. Only 97 yards on offense in the first half. 140 for Southern Utah. They will go with the option, and Black is destroyed before that play even started. Now second down and 12 for UC Davis. Two tight ends to the left side. Tyreek Taylor behind Black. And they will hand it off to Tyreek up the middle. First down, or very close to it. Great run from Tyreek the Freak. And he does move the chains. He's got 62 yards here today. And he went over 1,000 yards here today as well. His first 1,000 yard season of his career. First down and 10. Two tight ends set here for the Aggies. Black going to try to throw it over the middle. Almost picked off. Very dangerous pass. My goodness. I mean, intended for the not subscriber tight end, I believe. Or no, was that Jaquan Brown? I only saw it for a split second. Don't judge me. And watching the replay back, that was Jaquan Brown. Here is Black on the option, and there's Wyatt Geddes getting close to the sticks. 
And let's see if they gave it to him. No, they didn't. It's now third down and one after a nice run from Wyatt Geddes, who just went over 500 rushing yards for the season. The Aggies 0 for 3 on third downs tonight. And this is a big one. Third and one. And they will go option again. Wyatt Geddes has the first down up to the 46-yard line. Logan Tyler brings him down. But they do get the chains of moving for their first third down conversion of the game. From their own 47-yard line, shotgun set, three receivers to the right side. And they're going to go with a quarterback option. And there's a forced fumble from Logan Tyler. And it is recovered by the Aggies. But Tyler, my goodness gracious, that is his seventh forced fumble on the season. Do not run it his way, folks. Just don't do it. Brings up second down and 12 now. And they come out with a two tight end set again. Tyreek the Freak in the backfield, and they will hand it off to him. Up the middle, breaks a tackle, and still going. And he gets most of those yards back, and then some. And that was an 11-yard carry. And he is just running straight through this defense tonight. Brings up another third down and one, the second third down and one of this drive. Geddes in at halfback now. Two tight ends for Black. And they will play action. Black off his back foot. And it's caught by Sam Gatlin, the offensive captain, down to the 10-yard line. What a gutsy call. Moreland got way up there. Couldn't deflect it away, though. And Bryce King saves the touchdown. But a huge reception for Sam Gatlin. That is his 18th of the season. What a play. This is an eight-play, 68-yard drive. Over two minutes off the clock now for the Aggies. Tyreek is on fire in the backfield. And they're handed off to him. Tyreek escapes to the right side, and he's got the touchdown, the 20th touchdown run in his career, and the 13th this season. What a great call by head coach Jack Christie. Man, oh man. <laughs> this game is crazy. I love it. 21-14. Aggies on top now after the 78-yard drive. That took over two minutes off the clock on nine plays. That is 21 straight points for UC Davis. This is slightly reminiscent of the Houston Texans-Kansas City Chiefs game tonight. <laughs> I just don't think anyone's going to be putting up 51 points, though. Let's see how the freshman quarterback responds here for Southern Utah once he takes the field. He had the game-winning touchdown drive and pass last week against the Cal Poly Mustangs, who were ranked number one at the time. So he's got ice in them veins. And here's a nice return by Hagan. Up to the 21-yard line. Looked like he got a little bit farther than that. Probably would have if he had just one or two more blocks. Hall under center to start the drive. And they're going to go with that wide back sweep. And Matthews falls forward. Picks up three yards on the carry. Tyreek is basically Derrick Henry. <laughs> That's a good comparison. Second down and seven. And they will go with the wide back sweep again. Matthews is bottled up. And he somehow gets back and gets a yard on the carry. Just 22 yards on the ground here today for Matthews. And that brings up third down and six. The Thunderbirds could not afford to go three and out this quickly again. Aggies trying to play the spoilers here tonight. As the Thunderbirds try to get to 10-0 on the season. And Hall going to go on the option. And Hall pitches it out late. That's Foster. He's got the first down and more up to the 45-yard line. Great play call 
by Noah Regier, the head coach of the Thunderbirds. RJ Simons made a nice tackle on the quarterback. Just needed a little extra help out there for himself. Packers versus 49ers. Who you guys got in that matchup? Who you guys got in the Titans-Chiefs matchup as well? I'm going with the Titans. Why not? And Tyler Matthews dragged down by Elijah Christian. That's a face mask penalty, though. I think I got the 49ers winning. 49ers-Titans. That's my Super Bowl pick. It's going to bring up first down and four now. Thunderbirds across that 50-yard line in UC Davis territory. Hall going to hand it off. That's Matthews. He is destroyed by Elijah Christian. My goodness. Let's put his shoulder through his soul. The Seahawks got their cheeks clapped. <laughs> Second down and three now. Andrew Jackson's on fire. And they hand it off to Brandon Lee. The big fullback falls forward. Gets maybe two yards on the carry. And he is three yards shy of 1,100 on the season. He's our first fullback ever to go for 1,000 yards in a year. Southern Utah, uh, two of six tonight on uh, third downs. Again, they are number one in the nation at 62% on the season. And third and inches. Hall is going to go with the option, and he is stuffed by Demarcus Webb. A two-yard loss on that play. Webb with his 11th tackle for a loss this season. And the Thunderbirds are going to punt it away, so they don't go three and out. But they still end up giving the ball back to the Aggies as the third quarter is starting to wind down pretty quickly here in Davis, California. And that punt was almost blocked by Andrew Jackson. And fair catch from Trey Henry III at the nine-yard line. High formation set for the Aggies to start their drive. Lito Lozano gets the carry, picks up maybe two yards on the run. They do keep running it because Southern Utah has a nasty rushing attack. <laughs> Hall only has 709 yards passing coming into this game, so don't expect the Thunderbirds to chuck it all the time. Play action from Black, right side, and that is incomplete. O'Neal, the fullback, dropped it. Brings up third down and seven now from the 12. Shotgun set for Black. Tyreek the Freak to his left. And Black will go quarterback option. He's got the speed, and he's got the first down. Clutch run by Owen Black. He came into the game with 761 yards on the ground this season with 12 scores. And he just showed why he can run it real well right there. Got the first down on third and long. My goodness. Need to get some more passing weapons? Yeah, well, I did get you a receiver, Noah. I did. Play action from Black. Right side deflected away by Logan Tyler across the middle. If you wanted to see your uh, recruits that I got you, Noah, check out the last video. The uh, Taking a look at the nation. We went over all the recruits for each school uh, at, towards the end of the video. Second down and 10 here for the Aggies. Tyreek and Logan Tyler on fire. And Tyreek's got the first down close to it. And C.J. Moreland has injured his elbow on the play. That could be a big loss here for the Thunderbirds. And they are thin at corner even with Moreland. That is going to be the end of the third quarter, though, folks. Get your fours up. The Pac-10 is on the line here in Davis, California. 
on homecoming night for the UC Davis Aggies. Another third down situation here. I formation for Black and the Aggies. Nicholas Hall in the chat now. And Lozano is going to be stuffed. Adam Joseph, the big defensive tackle with one of the best plays of his career right there. And he is hype. Oh, my goodness. What a play by the defensive tackle. Clutch play by the sophomore. Tyrell Golden punts it away, and here is Hagen on the return. He's got a boatload of returns for touchdowns this season, but he is stopped. And I believe that was Tyreek Taylor on the stop. Goodness gracious. Thunderbirds 69 yards away from tying it up. 5.30 left in the game. Wide back sweep again for the Thunderbirds. They just keep on running it. And that is the big defensive tackle, Caleb Chubb, on the tackle for a loss. He needs one more sack for double digits this season. He had six last year. He's got nine this season. And is now second down and 11. After another failed wide back sweep, here's Hall on the option. Look out, he's got the speed. Nicholas Hall past the 40, the 30. Nicholas Hall is down inside the five yard line. 132 yards for the freshman on the ground. Oh boy, what a run. Everett Garrison is the one that saved the touchdown. Zachary Hyde missed. Trey Henry the third missed. They had to rely on their freshman strong safety to save the score. And we're up to 14 viewers now in the stream. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community today if you want to start making plays like Nicholas Hall just did against the Aggies defense. First and goal. Defensive line is on fire for the Aggies. It's Caleb Chubb and Andrew Jackson. And they're going to go option. Nicholas Hall finds the end zone again. Touchdown, Thunderbirds. My goodness. This game is absolutely bananas. Hall putting the team on his back. It's the second touchdown run of the ball game. And now has 10 on the season. And that extra point is up and good. Thunderbirds tie it up with 436 left in the ball game. <laughs> Damn, he's fast. Yes, he is. Very fast quarterback. If you win, you're buying a UC Davis shirt. I mean, you should buy one anyway. I'm just saying. Tom, you're a little bit behind with the four, buddy. I appreciate you, though. Light get a sack prior back to return the kickoff. And this will be returned by Wyatt Geddes, possibly. And he's actually going to kneel it down in the end zone. The Aggies will start off this drive at their own 20-yard line. Up to 15 viewers on the stream now. I believe our FCS Dynasty record is 17. Here's Lozano breaking loose. Sam Gatlin with the ceiling block right there. And Lito Lozano is gone. His second touchdown today, first rushing. And just like that, the Aggies explode for the 80-yard touchdown run to take the lead back on a one-play drive. My goodness. <laughs> I'm going to lose my voice tonight, I swear. Sam Gatlin, the offensive captain with the touchdown ceiling block in the secondary. That was just glorious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Tyrell Golden on for the extra point. It's up and good. It's 28-21. Pac-10 on the line. Who wants it more, folks? 
Number 18 Aggies looking to upset the undefeated 9-0 Southern Utah Thunderbirds ranked seventh in the country. And the chat goes wild. I love you guys. Appreciate y'all stopping by, seriously. And let's see who's going to return this. That is going to be Hagen from the goal line. And Hagen up past the 20 to about the 23-yard line. And we're staying steady at 15 viewers right now, which is huge. Let's see what Nicholas Hall and his legs have in store for us with 422 left in the game. And they're going to go with a reverse. Oh, my goodness. Andrew Jackson brought him down by the face mask. That'll be a first down for Southern Utah. And that'll give him the ball at their own 38-yard line now. Jack Christie blowing up on the sideline. He knows this is a huge game. Man, oh man. Fresh set of downs for the Thunderbirds. Up to 16 viewers now in the stream. And they're going to go Hall on the option. Look out again, folks. Nicholas Hall has to hurdle. And Everett Garrison saves another touchdown. 228 yards on the ground today for the Thunderbirds. And the Aggies really only allow about 50 yards rushing per game. But Nicholas Hall is making them pay with his feet. Man, oh man, there is no quit in either of these teams. But how about Everett Garrison? <laughs> the freshman strong safety saving two touchdowns. Great effort from him. First down and 10 from the 40-yard line of UC Davis. And they hand it off to Brandon Lee, the big fullback. He's going to pick up six yards on the carry. He's got 34 yards here today. Now over 1,100 rushing yards on the season for the big fullback. Man, this game has definitely lived up to the hype, folks. C.J. Moreland, nothing crazy. He's just out for the rest of this game. But that might be something that the Aggies can exploit. They already did it on that run from Lita Lozano as it was on Moreland's side. Hall only picks up a yard here on the carry. But that long 80-yard touchdown run from Lito Lozano was on the exact side where C.J. Mullen would have been. So the game already being affected by that injury. Third down and three. Huge play for the Thunderbirds. They've handed off to Lee, and he is stuffed. And it's Zeus Williams, the freshman linebacker. Oh, baby, what a stop. Thunderbirds going to go for it with less than three minutes left in the game. Hall to throw it. Hall over the middle is picked off. Zeus Williams has it at the 30-yard line. Oh, my goodness. That's his fifth pick of the season. Wow. What a play from the freshman linebacker. Pass intended for Prince McCutcheon. But it was never delivered. My goodness. Crowd going crazy right now. I formation set for the Aggies as they look to put this game to bed. And Owen Black's going to hand it off to Lozano up the middle. And Logan Tyler drops him after a four-yard carry. We are now up to 17 viewers on the stream. An FCS Dynasty record for our streams. My goodness. Second down and six now. Goal line set for UC Davis. And they're trying to just run as much of this clock out as they possibly can. And they'll hand it off. Tyreek Taylor with the carry, and he is stuffed. That's Logan Tyler on the stop, the sophomore middle linebacker. He is a tackling machine, and he'll probably be our only subscriber player this season to reach 100 tackles. He was at 81 before the game. That brings up third down and six. It looks like the Thunderbirds are going to save their timeouts and try to get this stop. Two tight ends set. Wyatt Geddes is in at halfback. Look for the option to the left side. 
And they're going to go right side instead. Wyatt Geddes, can he get there? Yes, he can. First down and more up to the 47. Wyatt Geddes, 1,385 total yards on the season. And that was probably the biggest play of the year for the young freshman halfback. Oh, my goodness. Two, two timeouts left for Southern Utah. High formation set for the Aggies. They hand it off, Tyreek Taylor. And Tyreek picks up five or six yards. They give him credit for five on the carry. 132 left on the clock. One timeout left for the 9-0, seventh ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds looking to get that Pac-10 title. And they will go with a counter play to Lozano. He's dragged down by the face mask. And that is probably going to seal it, folks. Automatic first down. No timeouts left for Southern Utah. Noah Regeer having a couple words here with the ref, but it's not going to matter. Oh, my goodness. The best player on that defense probably just cost them. And they actually do have one timeout left. Man, oh man. First and ten, Tyreek Taylor is on fire here for the Aggies. Black running that clock down as much as he can. And they will hand it off to Lozano. And Lozano is stuffed. He got nowhere on the play. That's Jericho Stevens. He's having a great game. Six tackles, a bunch for a loss, and a sack tonight. No timeouts left for the Thunderbirds. Now, if they do hold the Aggies to a fourth down, there will probably be about 10 to 15 seconds left in the ball game for the Thunderbirds to work with. So don't go away yet, folks. Second down and 10. Lozano gets the carry. And Tyler tried his hardest to force a fumble there. Lozano goes over 100 yards for the game. 102. And that brings up third down and six. Oh boy. Aggies four of eight on third downs tonight. And we're still at 17 viewers in the chat. Black under center. He's going to hand it off to Tyreek Taylor. And Taylor is dropped at the 22 yard line. And that is going to be the final play of the game, most likely. A huge upset victory here for the now 10-2 UC Davis Aggies. Southern Utah drops to 9-1 on the season. And they're actually going to attempt this field goal here. I'll be shocked if they snap the ball. They do snap it. Kick is up, and it is good for Tyrell Golden as time expires. It's a 10-point win for UC Davis. The style points at the end of the game. My goodness. What an upset here tonight. Aggies improved to 10 and 2. And I have no idea who's going to win the Pac-10 now. It is currently a three-way tie between Southern Utah, UC Davis, and Cal Poly. They all have one conference loss apiece. I don't have the slightest idea of who's going to win it. But congratulations to head coach Jet Christie and his entire roster for coming in here on homecoming night and upsetting the number seven team in the nation. Boy, oh boy. Thunderbirds taste defeat for the first time here in year number two of our dynasty. Let's take a look at some stats really quick. Very exciting game. A lot of big plays, especially on the ground. 309 yards of offense for the Aggies. 256 for Southern Utah. Nicholas Hall was the entire offense tonight for Southern Utah. And unfortunately, his back was hurt. He, he just could not carry the team any longer there in the fourth quarter. He needed some help from the defense, and they just couldn't give it to him. And that pick by Zeus Williams. Only the second interception for Nicholas Hall all season long. And that was basically the game decider. A lot of penalties here tonight. Ten in total. Over 100 yards. Time of possession completely identical. Oh boy. If you guys are new, you have not joined the Discord community, but you want a player in this series, join the Discord. Get in there. 
in the offseason, you guys can customize your very own player and start your college football career. And after that, it doesn't end. We have a professional league, the Elite Football League, in Madden 2006 that you could make your mark in as well. Let's take a look at the losing team stats first. Nicholas Hall, 1 of 5, 23 yards and a pick tonight. Sacked once. He did have 159 yards on the ground with two touchdowns. Lee had a touchdown, 32 yards. Matthews was just stuffed every single time he had the football. Four runs of 20 or more yards for Hall tonight. Foster with the only catch of the day, 23-yarder. McCutcheon had a drop. Let's see here. Offensive line, Brandon Red still no sacks allowed for the right guard, Brandon Red. Logan Tyler led the Thunderbirds in tackles with eight. Jericho Stevens at the right end spot at seven. Five for loss and a sack. Adam Joseph had two tackles tonight. One of those a huge third down stop late in the game. See the tackles for a loss. There was eight tonight for the Thunderbirds. Two sacks. And no picks. Owen Black, no interceptions tonight. Very good game from him. A bunch of pass deflections. A forced fumble from Logan Tyler. Almost had another one on that final game ceiling drive from the Aggies. My goodness. Nothing crazy on returns tonight. Let's look at the Aggies now. The winning team stats. Gettis apparently had... Oh, yeah, he did have a pass. Did a halfback pass. Forgot about that. Black, 6 of 13. 92 yards and a touchdown. No picks. Sacked twice. Tyreek Taylor, a buck 02. Lito Lozano, a buck 02. Two touchdowns for Taylor. One for Lozano. Black did not really run the football at all today. Gettis had 10 yards per carry tonight. Uh, three carries. Bunch of broken tackles for these guys. One fumble for Black. And receiving Sam Gatlin, who also had a clutch block that sealed the touchdown for Lito Lozano on the 80-yarder. Couple drops. Cole Hewitt allows his 12th sack of the season. The only freshman offensive lineman here for UC Davis. Only subscriber lineman, I should say. Andrew Jackson led the team in tackles with six. Garrison had five. Two of them were touchdown-saving tackles. Zeus Williams had four. Zachary Hyde with four. Elijah Christian with three. RJ Simons had two, Caleb Chubb with two, Trey Henry the third with two, Demarcus Webb, two, Tyreek Taylor out there getting a tackle, Mason Stonewall with a tackle, a freshman right end, and look at these tackles for a loss, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine tackles for a loss for the Aggies defense. My goodness. One sack for Andrew Jackson, a pick for Zeus Williams, the game ceiling interception, Webb with a pass deflection. And that is it. Tyrell Golden with a kick. And a bunch of punts. Wyatt Geddes had an 18-yard punt return tonight. And that is it for our games tonight, folks. It was just the one. It's the game of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed that game. I, I had an absolute blast commentating this game. Like That, that was just so phenomenal. Just a back-and-forth affair. And, and I'm glad it was a great game. And our next two games, which will be tomorrow night, San Diego, 3-7, travels to take on the 1-9 Sacramento State Hornets. And South Carolina State, 2-7 on the season, travels to take on the number two ranked Savannah State Tigers in ACC play. So I will see you guys with those ones tomorrow. Again, if you're new, subscribe, hit that like button, join our Discord community, get yourself a player in this series, because it's only going to get better from here on out, folks. But until tomorrow night... I'll see you guys in the Discord community. Take it easy.